going on a trip can help you grow your business? You know, to be honest, Colin, the first time I heard that, I thought it was kind of BS. So we're here at Seattle Airport. We are heading to Japan from that gate. <laughs> In a few minutes, we're taking a week, week and a half. Yeah. To do some snowboarding. It's going to be exciting. But it's been very hectic. It has. Leading up to the trip. We've had to document all sorts of things for the person helping us. Yeah, and that's, that's the growth. The growth was, yeah. what do you need to do to keep your business from dying while you're gone? And so some of those things include... Documenting processes and procedures. For the people that are helping us mm -hmm. when we're gone. Also, I automated a bunch of things like emails and, and yeah. documents. I scheduled some like marketing posts to go up. Yeah, I forgot. I even scheduled posts for next week. I did it like two months ago. Yeah. I feel so proud of myself. So, Setting clear expectations with people who email us. And so hopefully, while we're gone, nothing terrible happens. Everything goes smoothly. And then we're going to benefit from this from now on, from the future, because... Because we'll have those processes written down. And then we'll be able to take more trips. I think we've been living a little high on the hog lately with the trips, call and lay. <laughs> well, ideally, maybe we start taking trips where we don't have to check our email. Yeah. Or we don't have to make calls or, or work while we're gone. We can just tune out. Maybe one Forget day. Forget about the world. But sometimes we like it. We like being able to go someplace for longer and be digital nomads. That's true. But that's just so we can say digital nomad. Yeah. <laughs> it's all the rage these days. Yes. Anyway, we're off. Uh, see you tomorrow. Peace out. If you travel, if you like traveling, tell us where in the comments. We're going to Japan. Yeah. Finish.